Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Zed landing on Suicidal. I want to talk about D&D &D some more, because I had fun telling that story. So that's, I want to talk about a, a few more stories here, because I got lots of stories from D&D. &D. Played a lot of it in the past. These days, I don't play it nearly as much, and that makes me super sad. But, um, I still do play it occasionally. So, let's see. What's another story that I can do? Ah, yes. So we were, uh, we had a new guy in. Uh, one of our, one of our group's friends wanted to try out D&D. &D. So we came, he made like a, a fighter, and we were exploring this tower. So we get up to the, we're, I'm an old lady. I'm, I'm an old foreign 62 year old uh, gnome barbarian. You know, I'm like, I've given up on the world. I don't care. Let's just, if I die, I die. Let's just go and mess things up for everybody, right? And, uh, so, uh, we, 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 we're, we're trying to find this, this dude who has this amulet or something. Um, we're trying to find a guy anyway. And he's in his tower. So we go to his tower. And it's like all blocked off because this dude is in big trouble. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm his granny. And, um, they're like, well, how 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 can you prove that you're 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 his granny? So uh, I'm like, well, I can open the door. The door is locked. Uh, backstory: the door is locked. It had some kind of magical seal on it. We figured out what the seal was because somebody went into a bar, and one of this dude's like ex girlfriends. Actually, we're gonna go back even farther because this story gets even gooder. So we were on a mission to go, and uh, we were talking to this wizard, right? And, uh, he's like, oh yeah, my friend is, like, missing. Haven't been able to get in contact with him in a while. And we're like, I mean, we can go find him. And the wizard's like, yeah, yeah, that would be good. Go do that. And, uh, pretty much immediately, I was like, ah, oh, this dude, I mean, he's probably, well, okay, so, we have to go back even farther. <clears throat> in, uh, we were on a mission to investigate a destroyed city. We go into this tower, which seems to be like an evil place. We see, uh, we meet this evil man earlier on in the campaign. And uh, so, so there's, this, there's this evil guy that we know, okay? It's, it's hard for me to remember exactly what plot I even need to explain, but I think this is as far back as we have to go, okay? So, goodness gracious. So we go, we go back far enough to, to the evil man, okay? So we know this evil man, and uh, we've met him. He's he's evil, definitively evil, trying to resurrect this like evil god and stuff, and we're trying to make that kind of not happen, but also we don't really care. We just want to start up our drug empire. Um, so we're like, why do we have to save the world? Like, what what, what do we get out of it? And the dude, and the, and the person who's given us this quest is like, well, the world doesn't end. I'm like, yeah, but... What do I get out of it? How much are you going to pay me to save the world? He's like, well, the world doesn't die. I'm like, okay. But money. Let's talk money. So um, we end up getting paid for this, uh, this job. And uh, goodness gracious, this is too many of these. Uh, so we end up like getting some money for this job. And we, uh, we meet the evil guy. And he's pretty evil. And we're like, yeah, he's cool. Um, <laughs> he almost kills me, actually. We get into a fight with him. We, it was completely unprovoked. One of our members was, we met him, and he was in, like, this guild leader. Dude, he was, he was like, incognito, right, at the time. We later learned that he's, like, hyper evil. And uh, at the time, he's just some guild leader, right? So we meet him, and one of our party members is like, I uh, attack him. And then we get annihilated, because we're in the middle of this dude's, like, Hunter's Guild thing, and like, we can't take them all on, so we get annihilated. Uh, we all get knocked out, and he's like, alright, you can just leave, just don't mess things up for us, alright? And we're like, uh, yeah, no promises. So, um, we've, we've met this dude before, and he's evil, right? So we go, we investigate this town, it's got the, it's all destroyed and stuff, and, um, 
we uh, we investigate it. It's got this like destroyed tower, so we go exploring the tower. Then we get this amulet that like takes us back in time. And uh, as we go back in time, we get to like see a little. No, 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 not no, not as we go back in time. Um, we we get to kind of see stuff kind of come back together, sort of, um, but nothing like super important. Like it's it's obvious that we're going back in time. Like the world, the city is being restored and. You know whatnot, and then we come back up just outside the tower when we're done traveling through time. We end up going like a hundred years back in time or something like that. And uh, so, anyway, we go and we go to this this tower where the the city was originally like destroyed. Like that was the origin point of the the whole destruction for the town. And it's run by a wizard who looks identical to the evil man that we knew before. So the rest of my party is like, oh, this dude is evil. This is him. He looks identical. This is him in the past, right? And then my character's like, I don't know. I mean, he's, he doesn't seem that evil. He seems okay. Maybe it's just a lookalike, you know? Um, maybe maybe he just, maybe he's just a lookalike. Maybe, maybe the evil dude, like, took his face or something, right? And uh, my other, the, the rest of my party's like, no, this dude is the dude. He is evil as Heck, he's the evilest man. We need to kill him. And I'm like, I mean, he—he's just a wizard doing wizardy things. He's like, he destroyed the town. I'm like, it might have been an accident, you know. I'm like, hyper. I just the the way that he was playing it, it just it really didn't seem like my character would think he's evil because uh, my character at the time hadn't met um, the evil dude anyway. The the other party members had, and these are like, he looks the same. He's the same person. This is the evil dude. I'm like, well, maybe he just took his face or something. So this wizard dude who we're talking to is like, yeah, my other wizard friend is missing. And, uh, so my party's like, oh, this other wizard dude is going to be also evil. We have to go and kill this dude. And, um, he's in like debt or something. And, uh, like, we have to go and rescue him. And they're like, well, why do we have to rescue him? We just have to kill him. I'm like, ah, he's probably, well, he's in, like, debt. And they're like, yeah, because he's evil. He's stealing and, and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, well, he probably just had, like, you know, a girlfriend break up with him. And he's sad. And he's just keeping himself in his tower. So, uh, I was, I was just, I was making something up completely off the, off the cuff. Just, like, what would my character, like completely uninterested in the scenario what would my character say you know oh yeah he's probably just like sad that his girlfriend broke up with him and he's like obsessing over her or something and uh, so we finally get to the town this dude's in his tower is like all blocked off and uh, we have to find the passcode so we end up in um, one of our guys ends up in uh, like a tavern or a fighting brawler situation thing and he meets one of the he meet he meets this dude the dude we're looking for one of his like ex girlfriends, and she's like, yeah, like I just broke up with him. The password to his tower is, what's his face is a good lover, and I'm like, called it <laughs> like this at this point in time. It had been like probably two months since we uh, since we um, got this quest to go rescue this dude. And I'm like, I literally, the instant we got this quest, I'm like, yeah, no, this is just a dude that's sad about his girlfriend breaking up with him. It's not an evil dude, it's just someone who's sad. And, uh... Uh, then that was basically what happened. So we go to his, his, uh, his tower, the guards are there keeping people out, and I'm like, Oh, well, I'm just his old granny. I can get in just fine. And they're like, prove it. So I walk up to the door, and I'm like, can they hear me? And he's like, roll stealth check. I rolled pretty well, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna walk up to the door and like whisper to it, you know, what's his face is a good lover. And then the door opens and the guards are like, yep, that's proof enough. You're good to go. Go get him out. And I'm like, we'll do. So we go up to the top and uh, at the top of the tower, there's this like Petri dish with like a, a makeshift microscope. So we look into the mic. So one of us looks into the microscope, and he gets like sucked into it, into the petri dish. So it's not like a microscope, but like a make you small to see what's in the petri dish, you know. Um, and there's like all these mushrooms and fungus and whatnot growing in it, right? And uh, bacteria, the monsters and stuff. It's kind of cool. But um, so one of us hops in, and then another one hops in, and I'm like, all right, 
and I go too. And then finally, we get to the part where uh, where the friend is involved. He's like, this is his first time playing D&D, &D, and he's like, there's no way I would look into this microscope that is just zapped away three people already. There is no way I would be looking into it. I would never do that. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is kind of stupid, eh? That we just saw it, somebody disappeared, and then we're like, all right, here we go. It's kind of kind of, kind of, of a dumb situation to be in, right? And that's kind of just what D&D is, though, is just dumb stuff happening. Okay, we die here. It's just dumb stuff happening like that. Like, you, you do something and you're like, I would never do this. There is, there's a 0% chance I would ever do this, because this is obviously dumb. Like, this is the dumbest thing anybody's ever done. Why are we doing this? And then you're just like, maybe it's dumb, but have you ever thought about who cares? Dumb, but epic, you know? So anyway, we're in this Petri dish, and uh, we eventually, like, find him in there, and he's pretty much just wallowing about how his, his, uh, his girlfriend broke up with him. And, uh, I'm like, yep, y'all should have just listened to me. So then we uh, we leave the Petri dish, somebody smashes it, and I'm like, why would you kill him? He's not evil. He did nothing wrong. They're like, well, he was evil. So we uh, we take him back to the, the wizard who gave us the quest, and uh, then we get trapped. So we like focus on the amulet again, and we go back through time, and we can see the evil dude coming up to the tower, taking the wizard's face off, using it on himself, and putting it on, and I'm like... I told you this is exactly what happened. Like, I called it, like, four months ago. <laughs> like, and uh, our DM's like, Yep, you, you really did just kind of see through that entire thing, hey? I'm like, I don't know how I did it, but it was, uh, it was a good, it was a good D&D experience, because, uh, it was supposed to be a whole thing, and I'm like, no, this is just a dude sad that his girlfriend broke up with him, and another dude who gets his face stolen. <laughs> my, my DM's just like... I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.